Hello viewers, this is your Michael from Screw Review, bringing you a new podcast in my topic called the Super Sentai Review. I like oils. I like to get them out of very clearly and very slowly, in case you don't understand me. Also, I try to do my best not to breach your heart during this art podcast recording as well, not to cause any art feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this art podcast recording will have some adult language if you're under 18. Once again, if you're under 18, this art podcast recording will have some adult language if you're under 18. Now, if you're over 18, then it's good to watch this art podcast recording. Now, with this and everything over at the way, let's get into the latest episode of a Boom 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 Girl. So basically, this episode starts off like this: we see, we see, we see, we see, we see, we see Ty, uh, Ty, uh, Ty Hano, uh, Ty Hano, you know, walking towards his car, and he was talking to Boom Boom on his walker that you know, oh, I can't wait to see the new Boom cars that, uh, uh, that uh, I can't wait to see the new Boom cars that are finished, and basically, and, and he's uh, like, you know, and Boom Boom just you know. You know, he just, you know, in his conversation with Boom Boom, like, you know, I can't wait to see the new Boom Cars as well. So, anyway, so basically, while he was getting, why he, why he was, you know, got uh, got to the door of his car, he heard something, he heard, he heard some, he heard something in the grass, and turned out it was Fedor, into Fedor. So, basically, Fedor, like, you know, so basically, like, you know, so basically, like, you no, know, Ty Hanna was like, you know, wow, wow, are you, are you some type of boom car? No, my name's Fedor. I'm from the, uh, I'm from the Indian dimension. So basically, at this point, you know, Ty Hanna does not know about any, any, uh, so doesn't know about the go on just or pretty much, you know, it seems like every time that, you know, it, especially in this era right now, like, no, no wing team is aware of the current. Of uh, the current, the cur- I mean the current Ranger team, being the uh, the being the the boom owners are not aware of any current past Sentai team team. You know when it comes to the series, you know when in episodes, unless you know unless they did a movie. So anyway, so basically you know. Ty took uh, took uh, Speedo back to the headquarters where Gim where Gimma uh, where Gimma where Gimma Shino and Mino was there, but Yo was at work, was at uh, you know was at work or whatnot. So basically, Speedo said that you know, well, was explaining that I'm Speedo. I mean, I'm looking for my partner, looking for my partner, and basically, you know, I used to be part of a Sentai team along with along with my partner and some other humans, along with my other the fella, you know, uh, fella, uh, you know, you know, basically speed up was giving the jazz that, you know, I used to be a part of the Sentai team, you know, my partner was part of that same Sentai team as well, blah, blah, blah. So basically, like, you know, so basically, he, according to speed or like, you know, I was coming looking for my partner to, to tell him something, but when I, when I entered the human world, I got hit by something, something that caused him, that caused me to, that caused some damage to my engine so so basically I can't I can't get get back to my usual size. I need Sake to help me out fix my soul so that way I can, you know, get back to my big size and you know I can you know and go back to my world. So basically, you know after hearing that, you know, after the Rangers and Boo Boo hearing that, you're like, no, they decided to help the speedo out and find find his father being Sasuke. But he he never told him but but Speedo never told told him told told and never told the Rangers and Boo Boo Sasuke's name. So anyway, meanwhile, at the police station, you know, at the police station that Officer Joe, aka Boom Black, works at, you know, we see we see a familiar face bringing a lost child to Officer Joe. It was Sauce K, aka aka Go Red. So basically, you know, Sauce K, Sauce K, you know, Sauce K explained that, oh, I found this lost boy, you know, uh, you know, so basically, I bumped into you. So basically, I hope that you could find his mother and what. Not. And basically, like you know, Joe was like, "Oh, what's good? Uh, I'll make sure that this boy finds his mother, uh, finds his mother, and whatnot." So basically, you know. You know, and, and, you know, so basically Sasuke usually, you know, put out his little engine, you know, like, like uh, his engine, Sentai, you know, his coin and like, you know, and pick a direction he wanted to go in, 
head, you know, heads to right or tails to left, and basically it was his point, uh, 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 you know, a pin of heads, and basically he went the right way. So basically, after after a few seconds, you know, after a few seconds, Joe was talking to the boy, was trying to trying to get his name and whatnot, and basically after that few seconds, you know, Saucy came back and with the boy's mother, and the boy was like, you know, oh, lucky lucky for my lucky for me and my lucky coin, you know, I bumped into the boy's mother. So basically, like you know, oh, so basically the boy was united with his mother, and that was that, and Saucy went his Right. Or uh, basically, like you know, the boy gave Sasuke and, and the mother gave the boy and the, and the boy's mother gave Sasuke to bringing them back together and whatnot, and and gave it offer to Joe, you know, for helping and whatnot. And basically, meanwhile, somewhere else, we see D Trade. Hmm. We see DJ Tasha and Yaya, you know, at some, at some old, at some old, well, I believe some old abandoned warehouse. And basically, you know, Yaya and Tasha were still talking trash about, about, uh, uh, about Cannonboard, the, the, the new, uh, uh, and about Cannonboard. So basically, like, you know, they don't think they don't really think highly of Cannonball being the, being taking over the operation of collecting gasoline energy uh, from from humans on Earth and bossing them around. And basically, Detroit's like, no, oh, well, we should not be talking about him like that. You guys should not be talking to him like that, cause you know he can do uh, he, he, he uh, it, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter if you. I know he's no Mad Rex, but he's still he's still a hot he he's still a captain, and we have to do what he says. So if he if he would have had you guys talking to him like uh, behind his back like this, you know, he probably do something terrible for to you guys and, uh, and to you guys. And basically, Yaya and Tata was like, you know, oh, he's not here. So basically, I can we can talk about him all we want to, and basically. <laughs> And Cannonboard showed up, and basically, like, you know, and basically kind of, it seemed like he heard the whole conversation, well, partly of the conversation that uh, that they were having, and basically, like, you know, and Cannonboard made one thing clear that, you know, you two work for me, I'm taking, I'm, let's get this straight right here, so you two work for me, you know, I'm in charge of, uh, you guys, uh, I'm in charge of collecting gas, uh, gasoline energy for the humans on Earth, so basically, you guys, do what I say, we would do what I say while wow, wow, crashing. So basically, once again, Cannonball is letting, letting him, letting, letting Detroit, uh, Tasha, and Gaia know that I'm the boss. So basically, you guys, I don't care if you guys like me or not, you know, you guys have to do what the hell I say. So basically, so basically, it's time, and basically, Cannonball, it's, I think it's time for an upgrade. And basically, it turns out that Cannonball has the same ability to make monsters just like Tasha. And Tasha was not happy that, you know, uh, that it uh, seemed like all the captains of the hockey agents, the high rank captains, can make monsters just like Tasha do, have the ability to make monsters just like Tasha do. So basically, you know, and, and Cannonball saw some old Japanese sandals like these old Japanese sandals and basically turn it into a monster. I just call it the, the sandal monster and basically and basically he made some upgrades to that monster as well. Some hitting upgrades because he is the he is the hockey alien captain of up. Uh, upgrades and tell him to go collect some energy for collect, collect some uh, gasoline energy for humans. So basically, the Santa Monster has the ability to turn and turn any turn any hue into old style Japanese sandal. So basically, you know, he ran up to a couple who were wearing sneakers and basically, you know, and turned their sneakers into old Japanese sandals and they were kind of pissed off that, you know, oh, those are, my, those, those are brand new shoes I have. And basically, because of... Cause, uh, cause, he, cause, he, cause they change, change, cause the monster change. Go, so cause of that, cause of the, because of that, you know, humans, the humans, you know, start to, you know, cause the only way to get get gasoline energy for humans is to make them feel bad or for pain. So basically. 
the people from their countries that sneakers were gone and turned into old Japanese sandals, and therefore the monster was starting to collect the ghastly energy for the humans, you know, sadness and whatnot. And basically, you know, you know, the rangers were, uh, were informed that 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 a hockey alien monster was attacking was attacking the people and basically like the the other rangers were like you know all right then like you know like we'll, we'll do with the hockey alien monster so basically you know Todd Hannah was like you know well I need to take a side step for to find your your partner for the next speed or and basically for you to understand understand that you guys you you guys are a syntaxi it's your job to take down the bad monsters. I understand. And but Ty Hater said, Don't worry, we'll find your partner. So basically, you know, basically you know, Ty, Mino, Shino and Gimba showed up on the scene and basically started to fight the foot soldiers and started to fight the foot soldiers that was with the sandal what the the old sandal Japanese monster, and basically they mopped up. <laughs> Eventually, a few minutes later, Joe uh, Joe showed up and basically joined them, and basically into and a good and a good fight secret. They were able to take down. They were able to take down. They were able to take down. You know, they were able to take down the foot soldiers, but you know, the monster. Hmm, but the auto monster, you know, the auto Santa monster was like, you know, oh, oh, like, oh, you were interested. Oh, oh, you took down the foot soldiers and you won't take me down that easily. And basically, you know, and basically, and basically that's when, that's when Cannibal, who was watching the fight from the old warehouse, was like you know, watching the fight and saw a speed or so in the background, it's like, you know, hmm. What did I see? Like, you no, know, that him, that little car looks familiar. And it turns out it was Speedo. Well, when when Speedo got here, which entered the him world, that was the same time that that Cannibal was coming to space with was coming to space, and therefore he ended up hitting Speedo, and that's why Speedo stuck in his small sides, and his engine though is damaged. It was. Because of it was because of cannibal. So basically, you know, the Japanese. So basically, the monster used its special upgrade power to make these heavy sandals and put it on the rangers' feet, on the on the rangers' feet with their current shoes and whatnot. And basically, they were just stuck to. They were just stuck. They couldn't really move their legs, and therefore, they were just immobilized in right there. And basically, the you know, you know, the monsters start to beat up on the uh, on the rangers, and basically seems like things were was about to get worse for them. And but Speedo tried his best at his current small size to to help the rangers, but it was not enough for, for, for you know. But he was just too small to to really do any real damage to uh, to to the monster, and that's when. And that's when Spe and that's when Sasuke showed up, and basically, like you know, uh, other rangers was uh, like you know, who the hell was that? And, and like you know, that's Sasuke, my partner. So, uh, AK go red. And so basically, from the uh, from instant Sentai go Onger. So basically, you know, she you know, so basically, you know, you know, Ty tossed Speedo towards you know, to Sasuke. Sasuke caught Speedo, and basically, like you know, like you know, what you doing here? What you doing here? So. Uh, what you doing here, Speedo? Well, well, I can tell you that later, but, you know, my, but they need some help right now. So, basically, you know, Sasuke put Speedo in it, you know, you know, like, you know, okay, and basically put out his morpher and transform into his ranger form, and basically summon his feet saber, and basically, and charge towards the monster, but before he was able to attack the monster, you know, Tahana was uh, was trying to warn him about about the monster's special power to make these heavy sandals and basically immobilize them. But what the monster was able to was able to put heavy sandals on. <gasps> On, you know, on on Sasuke's feet as well. So basically, you know, so Sasuke being you know, being you know, being powerful and and vicious, you know, being like you no know, never gets up and whatnot. He would start to move, even though know, those senders were a lot. He was like you know he was moving, but he was moving very slowly. And the other rangers, the, 
the other way is like, whoa, whoa, that dude is really, uh, that dude must be has some incredible, incredible stamina, incredible strength to move, to move in those heavy sandals. And basically, you know, Fido managed to help, help Sosuke out, and basically, they did a special, effective Street Saber attack on the monster, and therefore, was able to free the other rangers and, and, and Sosuke from, from those heavy sandals, and working together as a team, working together as a team, you know, they was able to do a crank up finish, go under special attack on the, on the Santa monster, and therefore, destroying the Santa monster, and basically, the Santa monster turned into energy, and therefore, Gaia sort of absorbed that energy that the, that the monster ter- transformed into, and made, and, and Gaia made, made himself grow, and went into the space highway. So, basically, you know, yeah, and basically, that you to, you know, you know, the Rangers went chasing after him, but this time, you know, after, you know, after, you know, first they fixed, you know, he was Speedor's engine cell, you know, we see Speedor went chasing after Yaya in the space highway along with the other Rangers, and basically, like years ago, they was able to, able to, you know, to knock Yaya out of the space highway, and therefore Yaya opened his mouth and basically and and revived the the Santa monster into giant size, and basically you know and, and basically they and they transform Boo Boo transformed into his Megazord form, and basically started to battle the giant the giant Santa monster, but the giant Santa monster made Boo Boo's feet too heavy to move, and basically had the upper hand against, against Boom Boom and the Rangers, but lucky for, lucky for, lucky for, uh, lucky for them, you know, Speeder showed up with Bear RB and, and Bus on, along with Sosuke, and they formed, and they formed, in, they formed the engine of Megazord, and basically working together, both Megazord working together, took down the Santa Monster, and therefore take day. So anyway, after the after they took down the monster, Speedo explained Speedo explained that you know why he came to the human world looking for Sasuke. Turns out that Mark Falcon <laughs> is getting married, and therefore the other the other the other go on just are already in the engine world <clears throat> attending the wedding. So basically, Speedo came to come, come get you. So basically, like you know, well. <clears throat> All like okay then I'll go with you. Hold on. like you know and basically he, he so basically you know Sasuke said like well oh, seems like seems like the seems like the human world would be in good hands with this current Sentai team. So basically you know you know tell t- t- you know giving uh, so this so basically Sasuke was getting was giving the tie and the other Boo Rangers the the thumbs up to make sure that they would keep the human were safe, safe, and basically, you know, Sasuke, you know, he put his helmet back on and hopped into Speedor, and they went to, so basically, Speedor, 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 Bosson, and Bear RP, you know, headed to the engine world, and basically, and basically, the episode ended on, like, you know, what, remembering what, you know, with, uh, which Vito said that, you know, said to, said to Ty Hanna, like, you and Boo Boo are partners. And basically, like, you know, and we see Ty Hanna looking at Boo Boo, like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, yeah, me and Boo Boo have been partners for, for a while. He is my partner. And basically, along with the other Rangers, of course. And basically, this is how the episode ended on this note. This was not a bad episode. This was not a bad corner. It was good to see Sasuke again. It was good to see... It's good to see. It's good to see Spear, and but you know, it's good to see one of the uh, the go on just again. But I'm hoping that you know, in a future episode or maybe in a special uh, or in a special movie, we get to see all the go all the go on just come back and team up with the with the Blue Rangers once again. You know, do some you know do you know take down some take down take down some enemies and whatnot. But you know, we just have to wait and see on that. So anyway, what do you guys think about what do you guys think about this about about this uh, about this episode? Were you happy to see Sauce K and, and uh, Sauce K aka Go Red again or or, or Speed Or? Please let me know in the comments below. Anyway, anyway, this is Jay Michael from Scooby Doo signing off.
one. 